Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. And given that I've played the other two of these recently, it looks like I am going with Priest, of all things. Feels weird that Priest would be the one I played least recently. What the hell is the starting row? Is that requires dragons or is lame? Card that best opponent or a trivial target dummy. Awesome. I guess we're going to take Excavated Evil out of these, even though I'm sure it'll backfire horribly on me at some point. I was trying to stack me full of dragon guys. I'm not taking the bait. Grim Patron is kind of cool if you can buff him, but I don't see that happening reliably. I like Anubisath Sentinel in the arena, but Dark Cultist is a much better, like, price point. Um, wow. Now let's take a Clockwork Knight. There's often a bunch of mechs, and the mechs are usually good. Um, why is it giving me all this weird stuff? Bomb Lobber is pretty strong. Don't usually get to pick him in the arena, but... Do I want a Dormengar or a Pit Fighter? Go, go big or go home. Um, I have a mech for you, but he's expensive. Holy Champion is stronger, I think. Okay, I, I'm going to need cards that cost less than five at some point. So far, I'm not taking her over them for that, that's for sure. Let's take the Storm and Champion. Kind of random, but he's good. What the hell is going on? I mean, he's good for the Holy Champion, but otherwise kind of lame. Then again, since my deck is looking horribly slow so far, I guess maybe I'll take him. The hell? That That is not what I want in my deck that's already too slow for a low-cost minion. This is not good. Just start giving me some cheaper guys that are good. No, um, Shadow of Pain. I almost took that Trog, because the Trog is good. But I got expensive stuff. I need the cheaper things in life. Mech Warper or Huge Toad? I have one mech so far. No, I have two, because technically... Enhance, enhance a Meccano. Let's go Mech Warper. My deck's too expensive. Maybe he'll make it cheaper. Um, I'll take an Ogre Brute over a Blood Sail Raider and a weapon deck. Why not? Um, I guess he, his healing supports my thing habit. Okay, yeah. Keep giving me good cheap stuff. That I like that. Stone Splinter Trog is fine. Worgen Infiltrator I should almost take because he is good at doing his job. But um, no, you're still bad. Um, this is a really bad row. I don't... I mean, uh, the Ventricle Mercenary is strong. It's probably not going to help. Therewolf is good. Not a, great, not a great turn two play. This guy is awesome, but I feel like my deck is so expensive I should really just take another Mech Warper. Never know, I might get a double Mech Warper start, which does tend to give you a lot on the board very soon. I'm actually going to go Mad Bomber. Even though I'd prefer to have a Silverhand Regent, I really feel like I need to stack the earlier stuff right now. This might help me live longer. On the other hand, Shadow Madness is awesome. I love Shadow Madness. It is so awesome. And I don't usually get it in the arena. Lightwell is strange card. Let's just take it. Why not? I like Shadow Madness. Um, sure, you can taunt for me. The other guys were garbage. Um, this is not a good row. Maybe I will take Science, because it costs zero, and everything else I have costs a lot. Let's do that. I don't know. It seems nuts to me. Piloted Shredder. I Clockwork Knight's fine. The Unstable Ghoul may fit better with what I said I needed, but I've got two Mech Warpers now. Let's try and take serious mechs. Hey, you're a turn one play. And a mech. Uh, let's take the Entomb. It's a problem solver. I should probably take the Spellbreaker because he's a little cheaper, but eh, if I can take something expensive, might as well be actually expensive. Hey, you're a good early play. You are a powerhouse. We're still taking you. Okay, good. More early stuff. Um, Raptor. Bluegill does. I, I almost have enough mechs to justify that Cogmaster, but I'm going to take Bluegill instead. Because he kills things. This is the last card already. That went fast, because it was not right. <laughs> um, Resurrect... The problem is, now, now I've evened out my casting cost curve somewhat... This is often going to give you, like, a smaller minion. Like, I don't like that kind of randomness. It's not great. Pine Size Summoner might be helpful, because my other guys are expensive. Or the Light Warden. I have other healing-based stuff. But no, let's take the Pine Size Summoner. Whatever. It's fine. I have no Holy Novas. I have some expensive... I have lots of things that cost 4 and 5. But I th I'm hoping I evened it out enough. And some of my low-cost stuff is actually pretty good. Who knows? I could do mech things, maybe. Doesn't seem like the most stable or well-planned priest deck, but it was giving me all front-loaded with expensiveness. I am glad it 
it did give me enough rows later on where there was a choice that was inexpensive and not garbage. Like, my concern is that my deck is way too slow, and I won't, and I'll you know, need to play a very controlly game or get some early game minions. And it's like, here's Shadow Bomber. That is exactly what I need in terms of a low cost minion to help me not get rushed down. Is a friggin' Shadow Bomber, dumbass piece of crap. Anyway, it's not like it's its job to give me good cards. That we know. None of these are staying. That looks like the horror story that was my deck early on. But there are lots of cheap things in my deck that I could be drawing. That is fine. I deem thee acceptable. I could coin out a trog. I'm going to coin out a trog. I don't want to be left behind. Again, he can kill something with two attack, potentially, and get healed. Or he can hit the shield bot and then get healed. Or I can silence it. That is like a waste of a silence. I don't even care. But ow. Trogs do not sound like geniuses. Was that worth a card? Hell no. Was it otherwise mostly okay? Yeah. So if I play this, then he has to kill it before he gets to the other one, but... Now, it'll be really obnoxious if he plays the sword, but I'll just have to live with it. If he plays the sword, then he can bear kill my trog, and then... sword this guy. But now, I'll just have to make sure I have someone out to receive this guy's boon. Or I could heal him. That would be cool. Doing this after I have her out would also be cool. Um, actually, this is a 3-5. Um, I don't like putting her out and not boosting her right away, but it's not, she's not quite the same as some of those other guys like that, where I'm like, oh my god, I'm not going to play without using the Inspire or something. No, she's, she's big enough to deal with the situation at hand. If my opponent takes the easy kill, she'll get buffed like crazy. This could definitely work out badly. If he has, like, a Consecrate, he could hit her, get, re he spawn a guy from his Death Rattle and kill my guys both at once, and I would get nothing out of butthole here. But actually, the way this situation is laid out is potentially mm. annoying for my opponent. You're going to Consecrate, because that would be annoying. Oh, that's also annoying! Yes! Your randomness has failed you. Reporting for duty. That's what you get for having random crap in your deck. You know I have the same thing. I had no choice. It's not my fault. Yes. So. We're going to go... Bam. He is probably going to respawn in some kind of obnoxious fashion. Let's, let's kill him first and find out, because then I can still heal one of them, or I can play the bluegill. Avenge... Okay, so that's a change of plans, because I was going to, like, heal this guy, but now I'm just going to kill that, and then... My fate is we'll go for board control. That works fine, too. It would have been much worse if that was bringing back a one-hit-point Anoitron. Ta-da! That's what the Joker likes to call a magic trick. Ow. That was painful, but not actually what you wanted, I'm guessing. Oh my god. The insane buffs. Oh, I haven't taken any damage. That's not going to do the full value. Oh. Man. Man. No, oh, whatever. Board control is fine. Heal her so she's less diable. She's got protection. What matters. Yeah, it's gonna be a little harder to make his pencil disappear. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Storm Wind Knight. That would make my guys bigger, sort of, but yeah. Could just play this, it'd be large. If he can't get through this, it would be really good. 
How much damage could I do to my opponent if I just healed a bunch, though? If I went this and then heal, then I could hit my opponent for 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. That is a lot of damage. Maybe we'll go in half measures. Actually, it's going to be healing him. It's not actually going to... Re... No, this guy's just... I hate this guy. What a dink. Um, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to play this because it makes it a li just that tiny little bit harder to break through my bear. And also it's a lot of junk on the table. Uh, that's potentially scary, but I think it may be a little late. Excellent. Okay, you only have two mana left. I'm guessing you can't kill her now, can you? Yeah. That's what I wanted. The version where you can't kill her. Okay, I have no idea how this deck's gonna go. I did get I did get my two cost stuff and like pretty good two cost stuff. So two cost things I don't like, plus a couple of one drops and silence. So I helped even out my casting cost curve that way a lot. And got some decent threes, a whole bunch of fours, some of which are very strong, some of which are idiots. And then excavated. Yeah, this is. It's not like the the st the expensive stuff I got at the start was the best stuff ever. So I don't know how it's actually going to work out, but I do feel like being ha having the priest special ability instead of some other special ability is an advantage in the arena, especially if we can start getting out meteor guys. And you never know. I could get I could get the crazy mech start where you go like coin mech warper clockwork gnome, or possibly like. Coin, Mech Warper, Mech Warper, Clockwork Gnome. That's sick. Um, can't do that first turn, but you can... Crazy stuff like that can happen when you get, if you get a double Mech Warper hand. Anyway, we'll see if I can arrange that next time. Show some love to the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.